Massive counterattack, Russia launches ballistic missile on the military target. Footage from the Russian military shows a camouflage transporter erector launcher being driven into position before firing a ballistic missile high into the sky over Ukraine. Zenger News obtained the video from the Ministry of Defense, MOD, of the Russian Federation on Thursday. The MOD statement said, in Russian footage of the combat work of the crew of the Iskander Operational Tactical Missile System during a special military operation. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to strike with high-precision missile weapons at the facilities of the important military infrastructure of the armed forces of Ukraine. OTRK Iskander refers to high-precision weapons with a firing range of up to 500 kilometers, 310 miles. The warhead of an OTRK missile can destroy almost any target, enemy command posts, equipment columns, and air defense systems. The OTRK has both ballistic and cruise missiles in its arsenal, which put false electronic interference on approach to the target and are practically invulnerable to enemy air defense systems. A cruise missile can go at ultra-low altitudes and go around the terrain, it is impossible to detect it. The 9K720 Iskander is a mobile short-range ballistic missile system produced and deployed by the Russian military. It entered service in 2006 and is operated by Russia, Armenia, Algeria, and Belarus. The Russian mod did not specify where in Ukraine the footage was filmed. In its latest briefing Thursday, the Russian mod said, in English the armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. High-precision air-based missiles have hit 48 areas of AFU manpower and military equipment concentration, two artillery batteries, and two ammunition depots near Nikolivka and Berestovo in Donetsk People's Republic during the day. One Ukrainian electronic reconnaissance center near Dnipropsko, Mykolaiv region, has been destroyed, including 11 servicemen from the combat unit, as well as 15 foreign engineering specialists who arrived with security guards. In addition, one OSAKM anti-aircraft missile system launcher has been destroyed near Nikolivka in Donetsk People's Republic, and one radar of the Ukrainian S-300 anti-aircraft missile system near Chuev in Kharkiv region. Operational tactical and army aviation have hit 49 areas of AFU manpower and military equipment concentration, two mortar crews, as well as one depot of missile and artillery weapons and ammunition. The attacks have resulted in the elimination of more than 350 nationalists and up to 96 armored and motor vehicles. Russian air defense means have shot down one Ukrainian Mi-24 helicopter over Huzarovka, Kharkiv region, one Ukrainian Air Force military transport aircraft delivering ammunition and weapons has been also shot down in mid-air near Kremadovka, Odessa region. In addition, 13 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been shot down near Zeliniaigai in Kherson region, Bolshi in Meli Prokhody, Gavrilovka, Veselo in Kharkiv region, and Epifanovka and Kirovsk in Lugansk People's Republic, including two Soviet-made 2143 Reese jets near Melavatka in Lugansk People's Republic. Missile troops and artillery have hit 62 command posts, 407 areas of AFU manpower and military equipment concentration, 47 artillery and mortar units at firing positions, as well as three ammunition depots. Units and military equipment of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 10th Mountain Assault Brigade, which arrived to reinforce the Ukrainian grouping in Donbass, have been destroyed during unloading near Pokrovsk Railway Station in Donetsk People's Republic. In total, 179 Ukrainian airplanes and 127 helicopters, 1,019 unmanned aerial vehicles, 323 anti-aircraft missile systems, 3,266 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 433 multiple launch rocket systems, 1,682 field artillery and mortars, as well as 3,190 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation. Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24 in what the Kremlin is now calling a special military operation to protect Donbass. Russians launch missile strike on Kremenchuk. Russians struck the Kremenchuk oil refinery. Six to eight missiles were launched on the night of June 18. Dmitro Lunin, head of Poltava Regional Military Administration, reported on the attack on Telegram, Ukraine Form reports. The strike was launched during the air alert in the morning which was signaled in most regions of the country. The official noted that other infrastructure facilities were also attacked. The details will be provided later. Kremenchuk is again under enemy attack. From six to eight Russian missiles hit the refinery and other infrastructure facilities. Details will be provided later. 
the threat of strikes remains. Stay in shelters, the official wrote. It is currently unknown whether there are human casualties. On February 24, Russia launched a new phase of the eight-year war against Ukraine, the full-scale offensive. The enemy massively shell and bomb peaceful Ukrainian cities, towns, and villages. The armed forces of Ukraine, the territorial defense forces, and the entire Ukrainian people are effectively resisting Russian troops and inflicting heavy losses on them. Алмаз 43-31. К бою! 